Um, I haven't done a video in a minute. I've been missing, I know. Um, just because I've been working and, you know, doing this school thing, trying to study, trying to stay on it, because you know I didn't <laughs> do that the first time around. So, um, I'm, I've been on an A streak, like nothing more than an A, these, you know, two semesters, so I'm trying to keep it up. I've been studying a lot, and, you know, Walmart keeps me bugged out, so... <clears throat> That's the reason <laughs> I haven't been making new videos. Uh, well, I made a couple. I feel like working to get it uploaded. <laughs> um, but anyway, a guy came uh, up to me at work. Not approached me or anything. Um, but I was working in the money center and he was coming to make a payment. <clears throat> and uh, a car payment. And um, he was asking me a question. I don't remember exactly what the first thing he said to me. But, long story short... He's been with this girl for a year. Um, he's an older guy, probably like 45. Um, and uh, he's been talking to this young lady for a year. And, you know, he owns his own car dealership. And uh, <clears throat> he's, uh, well, he said he owns his own business, so I just assumed it was a dealership. Don't ask me why. But he owns his own business, and, you know, he's been paying her rent. He's been paying her car note. He's been paying her phone bill. He's been, you know, paying all the bills and stuff. Uh, in addition, he has a, a son that's my age. His son's in college, and, you know, he's trying to pay his tuition. Um, and, you know, he has a sales job. So, you know, his, when business is slow, you know, the money's not coming in like it used to. And so he's been doing all this stuff for her for quite some time now. And now he's in a pinch, you know, where he just paid her rent, he just paid her car note, he just paid his son's tuition, and now, you know, I guess he's a little behind the car payments, and they want another payment, um, and he just doesn't have it right now, and, excuse me, when he asked her, you know, if she could possibly, maybe, make the payment, you know, it just turned into this big argument, this big fight, and, you know, he's feeling really upset about it, because, you know, he's been married, and he's been divorced, and he feels like the major reason that him and his wife didn't last was because she was not appreciative of the things that he did, and she was not supportive of him. <clears throat> anyway, um, the reason that it made me want to do a video is because I feel like a lot of women are very ungrateful. Um, and it, it kind of made me think of... You know, what's appropriate and what's not appropriate. You know, because some women feel like, you know, they shouldn't pay anything for a man. Like, that's stupid. <laughs> and I do agree that a woman is not supposed to pay a man's way. Like, that's not cute. Um, it's not meant to be that way. Um, in a lot of ways, I'm a very traditional girl. Um, and I just feel like the man is a provider. And any man who feels comfortable with a woman paying his way is a freaking loading bum, in my opinion, and he's not the type of man that I could see myself with anyway. But I don't feel like a woman should just be like, you know, that gimme, 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 gimme mentality. I don't feel like that at all. I feel like it is your job to provide. But, I mean, if we're falling on hard times, it's my responsibility also to help my man pull the weight. I mean, he's been taking care of me all this time, and it's within my capability to help him, and I'm not going to. Like, what would be the reasoning for that? Like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Anyways, um, I'm just wondering, you know, how many females would actually do it. Like, you know, you're used to a guy, you know, giving you money, and then all of a sudden, hey, he wants, you know, $300. No, don't say, oh, yeah, I do it, I definitely do it. You know what I mean? How many chicks would actually write the check, you know, or slide the car? Like, how many chicks would do that in reality? Um, and I, I, I feel like, I don't know. I think it also depends how long we've been together. It depends how long we've been together, and it depends what his track record is. Because, you know, a couple hundred dollars is a lot of money, I feel like, for a man to ask a woman. And if he feels very comfortable asking this woman for money... I don't think that's my type of dude, because I've not been with. But um, I kicked it with a dude for a minute who was very, very comfortable about not just the woman that he's talking to, but other women, um, whether it be friends or not. Just He was very comfortable allowing women to purchase things for him, to pay bills for him. 
and I was like, dude, get off it, <laughs> you know what I mean, like, at first, I was like, you know, he's not working right now, and, like, you know, he's going through this, this, that, and other, and that's the excuse, and really, there is no excuse, I mean, you do what you gotta do, you get things paid, you don't rely on women, or anybody, say stuff for you, you do it yourself, but, you know, everybody gets in a crunch, and there's a difference between being in a crunch and allowing somebody to help you and, you know, just getting people for what they're worth. Anyways, in this situation, I absolutely feel like old girl should have helped him. And she shouldn't have made him feel bad about it because he's been pulling his weight and he just needs a little help. Because um, the dude that I'm talking to, if, if he needed anything and it was within my power to do it, absolutely. Like, not a second thought. News in the past, I absolutely what I had to think about it. Think about it long and hard. Um, it's just one of those situations where it's not I'm not even really a material girl whereas the money itself means so much. It's just that I'm cheap. Like the the value of a dollar is not only people that flash is a lot of money or that oh I got to have that purse just because it has so and so's name on it. Like that's not me at all. Um and I work really, really hard for the money that I do have and I don't throw it away on myself. I don't just buy anything for myself. So for me to put that type of money into somebody, dude, we got to be serious. <laughs> like, I have to really, really care about you. And I have to know that you have the purest of intentions. And with the dude that I'm dealing with now, I absolutely feel that way. Um, and as long as it's within my capabilities, then absolutely. You know, um, I heard something else I wanted to say, but I can't remember what it is right now. Um, I'm trying to keep this flowing because I probably won't feel like adding. <clears throat> um, in other news, like I said, midterm was like a week and a half ago, and as of now, it's like all A's, and I'm feeling nice. Um, <clears throat> my midterms, I got like 102. <laughs> like, I'm killing it right now. Um, and I'm really excited about that. And I'm really excited that I only have, I, I owe like less than $800 on my car. I'm talking three more payments, two and a half more payments, and it's over. Like, it's like over. So I'm super excited about that. Um, And I'm officially applying for my financial aid again. And if I get my financial aid back, I'm quitting Walmart. <laughs> Seriously. If I get my financial aid back, I'm quitting. I think. Because <laughs> um, I really hate it. I really, really do. Um... Anyway, I really hate it there, and I feel like I could be doing so much better, and I could be taking more classes if um, I wasn't doing this one more bull crap. Especially since, you know, I'll be working 22 hours. Well, sometimes I, I'll work, like, the majority of the time I work 30, between 32 and 38 hours. But, um, I made a new resolution that I was going to make a valid effort to, to see my baby more often. Um, and so because I've been requesting like a week off at a time, you know, um, they've been tripping on my hours, trying to punish me, I think. Um, so now I'm getting like 22 hours, 24 hours, but instead of working like three days for 24 hours, they have me still coming in five days a week, but working like four or five hours, so they're just lame. So I have to cross the bridge every day. They're stupid. <sighs> Anyways, um... I'm just rambling on and on because I haven't talked to you guys in so long. I don't even know how to do it myself. Um, hopefully, <clears throat> when I go uh, back to Alabama in April, you'll be able to take a look at it and fix it. And if not, um, I don't know. Because <laughs> um, I called, I got a little quote, and the quote's like 250 And I'm like, 250 Seriously? So, uh, it, it, it's pretty harsh. <clears throat> but... You know, if push comes to shove and I absolutely have to do it, um, then I'll do it. Like, right after I pay off my car that next month, I'll go ahead and take my car payment and get it done. So it is what it is, Mr. Guys.